The Sahara Desert is expanding, and this can be considered one of the most dreadful effects of climate change. According to scientists, the desert has expanded by about 10% since 1920, partly because of climate change. Besides the expansion of the Sahara, the Sahel is also experiencing severe land degradation caused by poor land management practices, overgrazing, population growth, and climate change. This causes great concern to African states. And in this story, we will learn how this issue can possibly be solved. So let's open our eyes. Open your eyes for the next saga. As the Sahara expands, the Sahel retreats, disrupting fragile ecosystems and societies. To understand the implications of land degradation, it is worth remembering that 80% of Africa's economy depends on a climate-sensitive natural resource, such as rain-fed subsistence agriculture. The effects on the population are even more alarming. Without sufficient productive land to cultivate, a spiraling cycle of poverty will emerge. Over the last few decades, land degradation has increased food insecurity and hopelessness among millions of unemployed countryside youths, provoking migrations and strengthening radical groups. To face the challenges previously mentioned, African states launched an ambitious project, the Great Green Wall. The initiative is supposed to spread from Senegal in the west to Djibouti in the east. While it was officially inaugurated in 2007 by the African Union, or AU, Africa's vision of a Great Green Wall dates back to the 1970s, when the Sahel suffered from massive droughts and fertile soils become severely degraded. Visionary community leaders and politicians such as Thomas Sankara started thinking about a long-term solution and came up with the Great Green Wall. However, nothing has been realized in the years since its founding. Only a few decades later, in 2005, former Nigerian President Obasanjo and Senegalese President Wad put this project on the international agenda. Eventually, in 2007, the initiative was officially approved by the AU. Currently, the project has been implemented in more than 20 African countries, and more than $8 billion have been mobilized. The initiative brings together African countries and international partners under the leadership of the African Union Commission and Pan-African Agency of the Great Green Wall. The Great Green Wall is the latest hope for people living near the southern border of Sahara. This African-led project aims to recover Africa's degraded landscapes and transform millions of lives. Once finished, the wall will be the largest living structure in the world, an 8,000 kilometers long natural wonder that crosses the entire continent. By 2030, the project is expected to restore 100 million hectares of currently degraded land, absorb 250 million tons of carbon, and create 10 million green jobs. According to experts, several restoration approaches are required. One of them specifically empowers the role of farmers. They are responsible for protecting and managing the natural regeneration of forests, croplands, and grasslands. Furthermore, to recover severely degraded zones, large-scale land preparation and enrichment planting is needed, which requires high-quality seeds and planting materials. The international community is very supportive of this initiative. For example, the African Development Bank is committed to donate $6.5 billion, the World Bank $5 billion, and the European Commission $2.5 billion. There's no difference whatsoever. African population is rapidly growing. 200 million countryside youths will enter the job market over the next 15 years. Particularly, the Sahel is becoming a time bomb. If they don't have the possibility to live on and off their land, they will embark on dangerous migrations, join terrorist groups, or move to urban cities. Ignoring the plight of unemployed youth in sub-Saharan Africa will only lead to political instability and global insecurity. It is quite clear then that the Great Green Wall has to be greeted with great hope and optimism. 
it is a genuine alternative for people increasingly looking for an escape from hopelessness and desperate poverty. Thank you for watching. See you again for the next saga.